Uh, thank you very much. I would like to start by first uh, offering my deep sense of respect, admiration to our beloved Bhaisab Shri Indrish Kumarji. Your Excellences, my deep respect, uh, good wishes, distinguished faculty members, and my dear uh, students, I will not take much time. I would want to bring just three factors uh, before you today. First, of course, I would like to congratulate uh, Professor uh, uh, Rijuiji, yeah, Rijuiji, and uh, uh, most respected uh, Golok Bihariji for the launching of the book today. And of course, along with that, I would like to again, once again, thank uh, the vision, the guidance of uh, Manya Sri Indreshji in this regard. I don't know how many of you would know, but I've had a very, very long, long, like over 25 years, uh, close association, uh, guidance, and I have been following uh, Manya Shri Indreshji. He's definitely one person who thinks for the nation, who works for the nation, and who sleeps only when he has to when he's not busy doing something for the nation. And also, always had great foresight. So today, again, we are all assembled here as a result of his vision. That is what I would like to say. Number two. At the time, I'm sure when the author started the book also, we would not be able to determine the relevance of the book as it is today. What happened to us, the world? The COVID-19, did we ever imagine that we go through something as drastic as that? We just affected every country, every nation on this planet. There is no human being on this planet who has not been affected. There is not one nation whose economy has not been affected by this. And the geopolitic changes, plus what is happening all around in the world today, this book, I would believe, is very, very timely. At the launching of this book, I would like to remember and bring to your attention one of the nations of the Indian Ocean Hind Mahasagar mein jo basi hui hai, aisi ek desh ka naam mein aap sab logo ko yaad dilana chahungi aaj, Sri Lanka ka. What is happening there? Our heart and our best wishes are with the people and the government of Sri Lanka. I would not go into detail what are the reasons, what are the causes that led to the crisis that that nation is facing today. I'm grateful to all those who are helping Sri Lanka come out of the crisis today, including the great nation, India. But what happened? That is something we all must think. And who is going to be the next? So I would think the world, interdependent world, the third thing I would like to say, we are all dependent on each other as humans, as social animals, as we learn in the schools. We are dependent on each other. Even nations are dependent on each other. But just that we have to be careful whose hands we hold towards the development, the path that we take. And my dear friends, especially your excellencies, you would not need someone like me to, at least I think as a human being to human being, I can at least simply suggest 
And I would definitely say India is the hand you can trust and you can pull and walk together. I'm very also happy that as all of us as nations, me, yes, I represent today a country, Tibet, which is under occupation. I represent a nation without a voice today. So all of us as nations, we go through our challenges, our difficult times. And I'm very happy that His Excellency, the Ambassador of Afghanistan, is here with us. My best wishes are with your people. And also very happy that diplomatic relations have been resumed before India, between India and Afghanistan. And this is the right way forward, I believe. Globalization, we talk about resilience. We talk about what is resilience at the same, at the outset. To be able to stand on your own feet. As a nation, we may in, be independent, but also by mind, by profession, by occupation, in our day-to-day -day also, we must be and try to remain as independent as possible. Thank you very much for giving me this chance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.